Hey, what's up? I'm Adam here with the Mini Winnie. If you're watching this, it's because you're about to rent it. So let me walk you through this. It is super easy to use. We are like first time motorhome people and we figured this out in like the first trip. So let me show you a few things and we'll get rolling here. All right, first things first, this is your tank fill. So you're gonna just fill it right here. You can do it at home. We generally fill the tank before you go. And what we like to do is when you come in here, you're gonna see that you've got your levels. And so the fresh water is one third full. We ask you to only do two thirds um, due to some, just not having an overflow in the tank. All right. Speaking of this little control panel, you see the propane there. That shows two thirds and that can go for quite a while. And then gray and black water. Gray is the sink water, black is like the toilet. You got your water pump here. Turn that on if you need, and then your water heater. Give that about 15 minutes and you'll have hot water. If you wanna do your generator, if you're not hooked up, hold this stop button for quite a while, and then you're gonna see some numbers pop up. Once those hours pop up, then you can let go and hit start. And you'll hear it kind of turn like an engine. Hold it as long as you can, and then it'll fire up. Stop that there. The generator is going to run the AC, the microwave, and the wall outlets like this. You are gonna have little outlets like here that are running off the battery, but those are for USB. So really good for games, uh, devices, phones, things like that. This is your fridge here. So we generally always have it cold, ready for you. Um, we usually leave it on auto and it's plugged into the house right now. So it's gonna go to electric. Once you pull away, it's gonna switch over to propane and this will turn orange. We do ask on your last day when you're driving home, just to switch it to off. Um, it'll still stay cold for quite a few hours as you drive home. We do like to keep it at a three. If it's any higher, generally it's like freezing your strawberries. So, all right, lots of storage in here, lots of uh, things going on. Um, really kind of easy to use. We have cookware included couple odds and ends, first aid kits, spices, things like that. This is the most coveted area that kids are gonna wanna sleep. Pull that down, there's a ladder under there. Um, you've got TV, DVD, um, pretty easy to use, everything. Uh, some people don't like the TV and that's fine. You don't need it. <laughs> All right, here's the bathroom. You do have hot water in the shower if you want. We do ask that when uh, the toilet's used, we only use the RV toilet paper. And there's also some down in there. We also have little tablets that we do um, to treat the tanks, which will come that way. So that's kind of the main stuff there. Uh, to do the awning, it's gonna be this button right here. You're gonna hit out and that will make the awning come out. And we have an awning light that makes it super bright. It's kind of hard to see in the day. We do ask that you never um, sleep with the awning open and make sure it's always in. Um, the wind, just the smallest amount of wind gust can uh, rip that thing off the side. So we do ask that you be mindful of that. Don't leave it unattended. Um, and then the other thing I was gonna mention, this is the big compartment here. We always throw in a few camp chairs, just kind of help with your packing. This is called a regulator. Make sure when you're filling up your fresh water, you always have that on, kind of helps regulate the pressure and it doesn't blow up um, any of the pipes, any anything like that. So I generally leave that right there. These little caps here are for electric, but that's only when you're plugged into a house or running off the generator. Down here is a storage unit, mostly like tools, um, stabilizer blocks, fresh water hoses, things like that. All right, let's go to this side. I'll show you how this works. This is unleaded gas, by the way. Do not want to put diesel and it can just be the lowest grade unleaded. If you do have hookups, this is your city fill right here. You can do that. You do not need the water pump when you're using city fill. Cable, no one ever uses, gas, and if you're uh, uh, cleaning out the black water tanks, hook up a hose there and that kind of rinses the tanks out. All right, then we got these compartments here. This front compartment all the way to the top, that is the generator. You generally don't need to go in there. This is the propane. 
You don't need to go in here either, but we will turn this on and have that on, but you don't need to mess with that. If anything, you're probably gonna be in this compartment. And so this has your sewer hose. And the main thing that people need to know is this cord right here. So this orange cord is going to my house. <clears throat> it's got an adapter right here for the wall outlet. And then this is your 30 amp. Now, if you wanna run the generator, it's a really key thing. You unplug all this and you have to make sure you plug it into that plug back in there. That plugs it into the generator, then you can run everything off it. If that's not plugged in and you're running a generator, nothing will run. You gotta make sure that's plugged in. On the ladder, we do ask that people stay off the top. It's just not super safe, a little dangerous. Other than that, have fun with it. Um, if you have service, we generally have service. So text us with any questions. Most stuff you can find on YouTube as well if you get stuck. Um, oh, let me show you one more thing about the uh, sewer. The other thing, if you're at a campground and you have questions, people are super willing to help you. So this is the sewer. So that orange pipe you saw, one end goes in here, the other end goes into the drain. You always go black first. So you pull this and then you pull the gray. Kind of helps clean things out and get out the icky stuff first. So that's it. You're going to do great. Don't worry. Don't stress. Have fun. And let me know if you have any questions.